Welcome in Scorpio, it's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be your monthly reading for January. Keep in mind timing and energy is fluid. This can play out at any point in time. This message may or may not be for you so I do ask that you only take the messages that resonate. Leave behind the rest. Keep in mind characters, energies can be swapped around. My intention is to be speaking directly to you Scorpio but I could be speaking to a cross watcher. This is for any major Scorpio placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. So let's jump in, Scorpio, and talk about what came through in meditation. Communication, communication, communication. I do feel communication is a struggle, Scorpio. I think you need to uh, really think carefully before stating an opinion about something. I just feel there's a secret about to come to the surface. Uh, it was shown like a slipping away energy. So I think a secret is going to slip out unexpectedly. Uh, I do feel this energy of maybe somebody is secretly active on a dating site still or dating apps. It just felt like someone in and around you is like a parasite. So take that how that resonates, Scorpio. But I do feel somebody has been eating up your time eating up your money like a vampire and so respect yourself and break some ties was a big message uh, that came through for you in meditation and so this round of zodiacs is going to be a little bit different I'm kind of bringing it to the dark side so we're going to see what the dark mirror is for you coming through in January Scorpio because we have this very intense 29th degree of Pluto we are moving into uh Aquarius energy. Pluto is shifting into Aquarius. And so we're kind of in that dark mirroring energy of that Pluto and Capricorn at 29 degrees. So let's jump in Scorpio and see what dark mirror energy is coming through for you this month. What is Scorpio's dark mirror energy? Dark mirror energy for Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter and North Mood. All right, we got two Scorpio bottom of the deck. We get black flower fragrance. Somebody's been withholding something on the heart. And so there could be a heart chakra activation. Uh, 16 is a tower. I think you're ready for a tower. We have uh, revenge and the temple of my body. Two and a 23. And so uh, get ready for some change. Are you in the energy of seeking revenge, Scorpio? I do feel there's a need to honor your body. I do feel somebody here is seeking revenge because maybe their heart is broken. So I just feel there's been like blocks. Maybe the last couple of years have been a series of challenges and blocks and maybe taking the rose colored glasses off. I do see that you are seeing things clearly, Scorpio, and I just feel this energy of like blocks removed. I'm wanting to seek revenge. And I do want to just let you know, Scorpio, the best revenge is none. The best revenge is moving on with your life and living your best life. I do feel there's a need to honor something when it comes to your body. With the two energy, I just feel like blocked intuition as well. So you very well could have been blocking your intuition through some type of an addiction not honoring uh, the temple of your body. That's the dark mirror is showing you like you really need to honor your body. And I dropped that other card, fell on the ground. <laughs> so I just feel like maybe it's time to drop any revengeful plots because uh, what we put out there will be made manifest back in our reality times 10. And so if you're wishing revenge or harm on another, uh, just remember what goes around comes back around. And I do feel this revenge is stemming around some heartbreak. And so have you been hiding your true self? Have you been feeling alone in the world and playing into some type of masquerade when it comes to hiding some anger, when it comes to something that maybe you've been chained to, an addiction of some sort? But I do feel it's time to go into the depths of something that you have been repressing in the heart chakra. So let's dig into some archetypes and we'll see uh, what dark mirror archetypes are coming through for you, Scorpio. Oh, geez. And they both flipped out on reverse. Okay. We got the teacher and the rescuer. And so the dark mirror aspect of these is uh, manipulation and abuse. So uh, you could be dealing with somebody that has been uh, manipulating you and abusing you. 
uh, through some negative characteristics and some destructive uh, characteristics. And I just feel like it's this energy of assuming that somebody is always going to come and rescue you, Scorpio. Or somebody will always reciprocate what you put into a relationship. I just feel like uh, you are, are, are feeling this need to be rescued. It's very needy energy. And so I do feel in January, uh, you might want to be careful. You might not want to be making up tales or, you know, seeking revenge that could harm another. Because I do feel uh, the universe is saying um, when we act out of revenge, you can expect a negative backlash from that, Scorpio. And so I do feel there's a need to understand how you communicate uh, with people. I do feel a very negative experience here where maybe you've given a lot of love to somebody and you've had this expectation of receiving it back in return and it's not been given back to you. And so there might be some type of crisis playing out here. I just feel there's that vampire energy. Wow. Okay, Scorpio, I do feel uh, maybe your shadow self is you have been depleting others for your own psychic survival. Somebody here has been depleting you, whether you've been depleted or you've been depleting another, swap around the energies. But I feel uh, there's chronic complaining in and around you. There's definitely some toxic codependencies here. And I think January is a month that is going to make you aware of this. So, Something or someone has been draining your life force energy, and I think it's time to uh, find your way through all of these false stories that maybe you've made up, and I do feel liberation. So, breaking the chains. Maybe somebody's imposed tyranny over you. They're showing me the emperor in reverse, and so you could be dealing with a tyrant, or you could be the tyrant, um, Scorpio, but I do feel you can't keep ignoring somebody's legitimate um, complaints. I do feel there's a lot of constraints. I do feel you need to free yourself from an outdated belief and you need to release yourself from a negative thought pattern here because I do feel it's time to tell yourself a different story. It's really time to find your strength and uh, to go through this crisis or this experience and to come out the other side with more love uh, for who you are and the experience that you've gone through. So let's jump in with some tarot. Let's see what other messages need to come through for you, uh, Scorpio. Yeah, there is so much resistance to some type of transformation here. We could have materialism and greed as a dark mirror coming through, but I feel there's a lack of compassion. There's a lack of accomplishment. I think you got somebody here that might be very charismatic but is lacking grounding. Um, maybe there's a lack of financial security here. I just feel like you're waiting for somebody to throw you a lifeline. And what I want to say is nobody's coming to rescue you. So I just feel like there's so much resistance to a significant life experience and change, which might be bringing some type of crisis that will require um, you to face some challenges and some changes to be made. And so what are you holding on to when it comes to an old belief system here? Because that's your energy, Scorpio. That's like the death card. So what is it that you're afraid to transform? Because I think you've put something off long enough and I just feel like this big bang coming in. And so maybe this will allow you to uh, gain some spiritual wisdom, maybe master some skills through this experience. But I feel just expectation really has uh, brought you to a place of disillusionment. So we're going to see what else needs to come through for you, Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. Okay, we get the Seven of Cups reversed with the Chariot is what came out. Bottom of the deck, we get Wise Counsel with the World reversed. And there's that transformation reversed <laughs> with the three of pentacles reversed and the page of pentacles reversed. And then we get the sun. So this is what we got going on here, Scorpio. I just feel you're coming out of a period of disillusionment. I feel you're kind of feeling like backed into a corner, like you're running out of options. That's what it feels like. We get cancer energy coming through. So you could be dealing with a cancer. You could have cancer in your chart. But I feel rewards will come from putting in the hard work uh, to go through this balancing act. And so the cherry is all about balancing the shadow and the light aspects, right? And I do feel Archangel Raphael is working with you when it comes to opening up the heart chakra. I do feel a heart chakra opening. And I do feel addictions have likely clouded somebody's judgment here. And so there's clarity coming. 
and clarity is coming to show you which pathway you need to choose to move forward. But I just feel like it's time to listen to only your inner guidance. So this is Taurus energy. We get the world, which is all of the fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo. We get Taurus here with transformation in reverse. And so I feel time's up. You've been given time to go through this transformation. You've been... You've been given the warning signs is what I want to say, Scorpio. And so I do feel like there's a lack of accomplishment. You've had so much resistance to this process, I feel, of spiritual enlightenment. And it's like the divine is stepping in now. I feel the divine is stepping in right now, Scorpio, because I do feel you've asked the divine for help. You've prayed for help. And I, and I just want to say, like, trust that this is divine intervention playing out because the sun is coming in to shine a light on something to bring forward some type of an epiphany uh, to get you to walk through the doorway of a new opportunity. And so Leo energy, because I just feel a huge release of a situation where, you know, you're no longer working well with this person. I feel there's a lack of recognition. There's a lack of working well together. It's like maybe this connection has really hindered your reputation. I feel there's a need to learn something new. You're dealing with somebody here that is um, undependable. Maybe you, you've been undependable. But I feel there's this underlying mischievous energy here. And it's time to get to work, Scorpio. It's really time to get to work. It's time to stop, you know, watching in the background. I just feel somebody here has really just been maybe uh, spying. Maybe that's the dark mirror. Maybe you've been watching somebody transform, Scorpio. Maybe you've been watching somebody go through transformation. But you're not willing to put in the work yet. And I do feel there's that three of swords. And there you are, Scorpio, king of cups on the bottom of the deck. I do feel there's a need to address a past situation. And I do feel maybe you're wanting to seek revenge towards an ex of some sort is kind of what it feels like. But you're being encouraged to just drop all defenses and sink into the heart. I do feel there's been a lack of acknowledgement of some heart pain when it comes to an ending. And maybe you were the person who lacked honorable uh, devotion in the past. Maybe you weren't trustworthy, but I do feel like a recognition of, you know, um, watching somebody go through a transformation. You've been watching somebody transform. And I just feel like you feel this person drifting farther and farther and farther away. And so I feel you're going into the depths of some great sadness. That's the dark mirror. You've been hiding the truth of maybe this great sadness on your heart. Maybe you thought, you know, you could just put the past behind you and not do the deep dive of the healing work. But I do feel there is a misunderstanding that needs healing. And maybe you weren't there for somebody in their time of need, Scorpio. But I feel you cannot keep hiding your true self. I do feel there's fear about bringing uh, an apology forward because maybe in the past you had hidden intentions. I feel we've got a Queen of Swords here in reverse coming out saying, ain't no chance in hell you're coming back this way, buddy, is what it feels like. But I feel we could have somebody here. We could have an ex exposing the truth of, of a false foundation here. And I just feel you are needing to stand up for yourself and break some ties with a loveless situation. I do feel you finding the motivation and the drive to take action to leave something behind that uh, really had put you in a state of imbalanced energy. And so we get temperance coming out again. And so uh, self-control. Self-control is going to be needed if you are to reach a successful compromise. I just feel it's time to find your decisive um, action, decisive action, focused action to uh, choose victory after sorrow. And so I do feel, yeah, there could have been a, a very painful missed opportunity in the past due to maybe fear of commitment. And I do feel it's caused a lot of opposing opinions and conflicts in your life, Scorpio. Maybe it's time to let go of a false foundation here. I just feel like a huge emotional release, a release of something that maybe at one point in time you thought was going to be your happily ever after. But I do feel maybe you were dealing with somebody that you couldn't trust. I just feel... Everything is going to work out according to the divine, Scorpio. So you're just going to have to trust. So let's get you one last closing message from Spirit. A message from Spirit, please, for Scorpio. Wow, you got a mess on your hand here, Scorpio. All I got to say is you need to get honest with yourself. 
you really need to get honest with yourself about what is going on here so you can adopt a healthy state of mind. I do feel you're freeing yourself from some type of an illusion. That's what it feels like, Scorpio. There's some type of negative influence around you and it's time to speak up. It's really time to speak up and be heard because I do feel your your opinion matters. What you have to say matters in this situation. And I do feel it's really time to connect with yourself in the heart space because I do feel you've had a blocked heart for quite some time here, Scorpio. And it's time to finally get to know yourself once and for all. Where have you been depleted in your life? Where do you need to get honest about any areas of your life that you have been dissatisfied with? Because there is a lack of nurturing here. And I do feel either you've overstepped a boundary or somebody you're dealing with has overstepped a boundary. And it's time to draw that line in the sand. And so that's kind of what I got for you, Scorpio. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a soulmate reading with me, I highly encourage you to check that description box below, Scorpio. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.